Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the line of best fit and the correlation coefficient. We're going to do this in the context of the TI-84+. Now, the reality is, uh, in order to understand the line of best fit and the correlation coefficient as ideas, we need to talk about scatter plots for just a second. Uh, scatter plot is a visual model that helps us show a relationship between two variables. So these are some things that we may have information that we can combine or compare. Uh, if we took kids' ages and then we measured their heights, you know, various kids, we could match, show some relationship between ages of children and their heights. In general, as ages increase, heights increase as well. So we're going to say that's a positive correlation. Conversely, if we have a book club and we want to know how much time people have spent reading versus how many pages they have left, in general, these are like the really into it people, and these are the I just joined because my wife is in it or husband or whatever, this girl I like. Um, anyway, in general, as one number increases, the time spent reading, the pages left decreases. That's a negative relationship just because one goes up and the other goes down. If they both go up, it's positive. Now, um, in terms of divorce rate and the price of mayonnaise, you see there's dots everywhere. Really, there's no correlation at all. Because there's, I mean, divorce rate and price of mayonnaise aren't related. So there, at least I hope not. So there you go. Um, now, line of best fit and correlation coefficient. Now the line of best fit are these lines that I'm drawing. They basically are a general model of where the midpoint of all the points would be. It's like we're taking the, uh, we're trying to find an error between how much this one is below versus this one is above and trying to come up with a line that gives us a general picture of the relationship in the data. Correlation coefficient shows us how closely related the data is. It's like a furthering in a way of the line of best fit. We call the correlation coefficient R. It can be anywhere from 1 to negative 1. Now if it's positive it means the line it has some sort of positive correlation. And the closer it is to 1, the closer the dots are to my line of best fit. Now if I've got this, so it's got a general consensus that it's going up. So say this one's down here too. So it looks like it's kind of going up, but there really isn't any correlation per se. I'm probably going to get a much smaller value of R, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, something like that. And as opposed to negative, which those are pretty darn close. So it's going to be very close to negative 1. If you get something near 0, or really anything between 0.5 and negative 0.5, you're going to start to see that no correlation look to everything. But that's what correlation of coefficient, line of best fit, and scatter plots are. So let's do it in the calculator and get this thing over with. I chose the um, this relationship between hours studied and grades on tests because I got it from a textbook and they just love guilting students to death about not studying. Anyway, um, I can do everything I need to do in the calculator. The nice thing is I'll show you a couple things that I messed up on early so maybe you won't do the same thing. In order to put your data in, just go to the stat menu, assuming you have the TI-84+, plus, go to edit and type in all your data. I can make a scatter, make sure it's matched up. When you want to make a scatter plot, hit second y equals because it'll take us to the graphing section but it takes us specifically to where plots go and I need to go to one or two or wherever and turn the plot on it'll be off when you originally get to it but I didn't want to type in a bunch of data so I already had it set up now um, I picked this one because it looks like a, in terms of the type because it looks like a scatter plot L1 and L2 is where my data is I tend to like the plus as my uh, graphic so I hit graph and it should look like this. Now, most of the time when you first do it, it won't look like this because you haven't set your window. Make sure you set your window to show your data. Instead, you'll get the uh, normal you know, plus sign there, but you won't be able to see anything. So go to Window, set your X max and X minimum based on your input variable or your independent variable. I chose 0 to 10 because it seems like a reasonable uh, distance between them or a reasonable scope of numbers. On the other side, 50 to 100, it's pretty close. I could do 0 to 100 if I want. And then you get a nice graph that you can actually see. Now, line of best fit, correlation coefficient. I need to go into the stat menu again. And I'm going to look at uh, the calc section. And I'm going to go down to linear regression. But something you need to do first, because it's really easy to go do that, is to get out of all this and go into the catalog. You need to go to second catalog. Go to the D's in your catalog if you can and go down to the one that says 
Diagnostic on. You only have to do this once, but if you don't do it, it messes up your answers forever. Hit enter and enter again, and now the diagnostics are turned on, so I can get both these pieces of data same time. Go to the stat menu, go to calc, just like I said, go down to the one that says uh, LINREG or linear regression, which is the process for finding the line of best fit, in case you're wondering. Hit enter, make sure you verify all the things that you want, and hit calculate. Now, it's giving me the uh, slope value and the intercept for my line of best fit, and it's giving me a linear regression or a correlation coefficient of 0.94, which means it's pretty close to a line. So I'm going to write all those down in the form that I want, and it will click my calculator out, which is pretty annoying. But anyway, um, my A value that they gave me was 0 0.94. My B value was around, uh, or sorry, was 5.89, my bad, and my 45.6. So my line of best fit, they gave me this form here. My line of best fit would be y equals 5.89x plus 45.6. So there's that. And the correlation coefficient is 0 0.94. I can say not only that the correlation between the two pieces of data is positive, but it's also pretty linear because 0.94 is pretty close to the number. But that's it. Correlation coefficient, uh, line of best fit, all in the TI-84, and a little explanation of